Hello, sunshine. My name is Liviana. I am the trans showgirl of Albuquerque, the pastel princess, and the co-host of Saints Ball. I'm here today showing you a little bit of my makeup today for the Meow Wolf Pride Week. And today we are going to be focusing on my best feature, my lips. So I hear you want the juiciest, plumpest Liviana lips, and I got the secrets for you. So we are going to get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do to get ready for your juicy full lips is take off your glasses. So what you're going to want to do is prime your lips. So I'm starting off uh, just with some chapstick. I have some already applied on my lips. Um, because we don't want it too oily. Um, so go ahead and wipe that chicken grease off of your lips as well. But yes, we want to start off with some very nice moisturized lips because uh, we don't want them to look chapped, cakey, or disgusting. So the lips that I'm going to show for you guys today is going to make your lips look fuller. Uh, so I am working with a color that is way too light for my mocha skin. But I'm going to show you guys how you can practically make any lip color work uh, with any skin tone that you might have. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna start off with your favorite highlighter. Um, I'm starting off with a sort of silvery cool toned color. Um, I work with a lot of pastels, so I really like the whole cool tone. And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna apply that right to your cupid's bow. I like to sort of apply extra, um, but that is just because you are what you apply. Now, I like to put a lot of highlighter right there because um, it's gonna get pretty much covered up with all of your lip products. Uh, so, you know, just kind of make sure that it still shows up even with all those lip products on top. Gorgeous. So what I'm gonna go into is I am going to go in with a brown lip liner. Um, you might wanna alter this based on whatever skin tone you are. If you're a little lighter complected than me, you'll probably wanna go in with like a nude, kind of beigey color. Um, and if you're darker, you're gonna wanna go in with a darker brown. But um, I'm going in with like a nutmeggy brown. Um, and so I'm going to, oh, look how cute. I am going to make sure it's super, super sharp because you do not want to line your lips with any dull pencils. And I like to start um, right here at the Cupid's bow, right where you put that highlighter. Um, what I also like to do is to make it look uh, a little bigger and a little fuller. I like to bring my Cupid's bow higher, but I like to keep my lip line the same so that it looks uh, still realistic. Of course, if you don't wanna go with realistic lips, please, by all means, draw on the clown lips. Um, but I like a little bit more of a natural finish. So I'm gonna go in at the top where I want it to be its tallest. And you see, it's a little taller than my natural lips, but it's not too crazy. Now, of course, if you don't have large lips, feel free to keep going as high as you want. The higher the cupid's bow, the closer you are to sucking dick. So yeah, just keep going that. Um, and I like to obviously start up here and then do another point right up here and then just connect it. And you might have to keep resharpening while you're applying. That's okay. Like I said, do not apply with any dull pencil. It's gonna look kind of blurry and not cute. Ooh, fantastic. You have a mustache now. Um, I think that the top lip is always the hardest to line. So if you can achieve this, you're already set. And so what I like to do is I like to go in just uh, keeping the sides the same still. Um, I like to make sure that it's still uh, believable, but then like just like the top, go all the way down so that it makes your lips a little longer. See that? That's where it ends, and that's where I'm doing that. 
Fantastic. You have some chola lined lips. I look like my mother in the 90s. All right, well, since you have the line, that looks fantastic. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with that same pencil and just blur it a little bit. Just bring it up, just ever so slightly. I like to make sure that the sides especially are the darkest um, because if you paint the sides of your lips darker and the center of your lips brighter, it's looking like they're gonna come, they're coming out more at you. Um, so we're creating a whole bunch of different dimensions. We're giving you a whole new set of lips. So like I said, just go in at the sides, just like that. You're so beautiful. Now, what I like to do is I like to use way more than one product. So I'm going in with another lip liner, and this one is sort of a more natural, uh, kind of beigey color like I was talking about before. Um, and I'm gonna just go in and sort of blend it together um, along with the brown. Look at that. So I like to go in with a liquid to matte lipstick. Um, you can really use any kind of lip product that you like. I like liquid to mattes because when I put all of the other products that I'm about to put on top of it, um, it tends to stay more than just um, like a lip bullet. And when you're applying, it's totally okay if you go just a little bit over the illusion that you've created, because we're gonna make it all look seamless. So what you're gonna do is I like to take this finger and I like to just blend it like that. Great. So that's looking gorgeous. A lot of people might stop here, but bitch, I say, let's keep adding more. I'm gonna go in with one of my new favorite products. So this is Kimchi Beauty's uh, Lip Plumper. It's gorgeous. It has this little kind of pink tint to it. And uh, so what it does is it gives you gloss, but it also plumps up your lips. And I just apply everywhere. Ah. Uh, Girl, do you see? Those are huge. But honey, you are still not done. If you say you're done there, you are a wussy. And I don't hang with wussies. I do, I do. Her name's Naughty Business. So what you're gonna do is we are actually going to go in um, with just this little tiny blending brush. And I'm using another kimchi product. I'm using kimchi's palette. So you're gonna go in, I'm using just this natural color first, just to see how it builds up. So you're actually gonna contour right here. You're gonna contour where uh, your lip naturally casts a shadow. And so if you go in and you make it a little darker, it makes your lips look even fuller. And just so it's not too muddy, go ahead and take your blending sponge that has um, months worth of foundation and go ahead and just blend it. Blend it in a little bit. So it's not too harsh, but don't make sure to erase all the work that you just spent. Just because I'm having a really cute kind of holographic moment, um, I also have a holographic lip topper. This comes out in gobs, so just go ahead and just plot it. I can't wait to see y'all's lips. They better be some DSLs. You better get some dial up from that too. It makes sense if you don't know what a DSL is. But this is not the end. I like to go with a more fuller look to fill these fuller lips. So I like to go from something like this every day to something more like this. So I just threw on a little something to match my very dynamic lips. I hope you all enjoy this. Uh, I was really inspired by Bubbles from Powerpuff Girls, and um, I don't know, I just love a little pastel moment. I love feeling glitzy, glammy, Y2K. I literally can't stop looking at myself right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed my lip tutorial. I hope you guys give lots of smooches to all your loved ones with these big, luscious lips. And I hope you guys tune into the rest of the Saints tutorials to check out what they've done. We've got some nose contour we've got some eye looks and foundation so you can learn how to do a full saint's face all right here on Meowwolf's Instagram you can look forward to catching the saints and House of Flora featuring the Faggettes. All this week, we have plenty of content lined up for you. We have some group discussions, we have the Saints Ball Show, and the house has a little surprise for you at the very end. Uh, we have so, so much Pride content. I really do hope that you enjoy all of this. You can catch me 
uh, on multiple different social media sites. You can catch me on Instagram at Liviana Glow. That's at Liviana Glow. You can catch me on YouTube where I have a drag race review series. I have some vlogs and I'm looking to post a lot more content. So be on the lookout for that. And you can also catch me playing video games sometimes on Twitch and that's under Liviana XO. But that is going to be it for me. Keep shooting for the stars, all you cuties, and I'll see you next time. Get me out of here.